So for weeks, Chris, this dope addict that lives at 4511 Asbury Avenue, he's squatting over there, not paying rent. He's not on the lease. He acts like a dope addict and a crazy person. For weeks, when I've been going to bed at all hours of the night, like tonight was 3.30, or no, I went in there and got dressed for bed, um, he's been coming by. I can sit down on the side of my bed or go in the bathroom and start getting ready, turn out the living room light, and he comes. So the living room light's been off for, I mean, I've told police and everything, so he's mixing it up. But this is some truck that it's at his house that's moving some of his things out because he's being evicted. Um, the law's been over there several times. They've got a mess going on over there. So I don't know who this is in this truck, but... When I'm getting dressed in my bedroom, this truck comes up the hill. It's a black truck. With his mess on the back. It was in his driveway tonight when I left. But earlier, I came out to take uh, to go outside for something, and I heard him crank up his motorcycle. So I went over. I was going to just get out of the way so that if he came up through here, he couldn't see me. So I went over behind my car, and he turned it back off, and I went and did what I was going to do, and then he didn't come around the block. but Because I would have called the police. So tonight... I'm in my bedroom. I've turned out the living room light. I've been to the bathroom. I've took my medicine, been to the bathroom, and then went and changed into my pajamas. And in that room, he comes up the hill, whoever this is. These people are demonic. They are possessed with demons. Randy Davis, Pete Martin, Jonathan Martin, um... Chuck Hunter and his family, whole family, possessed with demons. Every, half, over half the people on the street are crazy.